Hey guys, Mark Jepson here from Manage by Stats. I wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of our distiller tool. There are a couple ways to use the distiller tool. The first way would be if you go into the distiller tool directly, you'll see blank fields that you can start working with. Here you have the option to paste in some keywords and you can then use these features to filter the keywords down and see the results. So that's one way to use it. The other way is by getting keywords from our Keyword Scout tool, where you can do a reverse search of what keywords a best-selling product is ranking for, so you know which keywords have a high popularity and are applicable that you'd want in your listing. Okay, so let's go through all these features. You have some buttons here, the first of which is to simply clear out the fields completely, so you have the default blank screen. The next is the save and load button, so you can save the list of words for referencing later on, and load or view them later. Next to that, you have a history button. So if you don't save it, you can just view it later by looking at your history. This first feature here is for detecting phrases. You can set that to off, and over here you'll see that's now individual words. Whereas if you do automatic phrase detection, it'll detect the phrases that were pasted in. You can also do custom phrase detection where they're separated by commas or dashes, etc. This next feature is for filtering out common things that you may want removed. This comes in handy when, let's say you have a bunch of words in here that are brand related or ASIN showing up in your keywords list. You can also get rid of duplicate words or numbers, common words, single letters, single words, and whatnot. Next is our search and replace feature. Here you can type in words and have them immediately filtered out of your results. And you can add more and more of these to stack on more and more filtering rules. And lastly, down here you have the options to allow only alphanumeric characters or allowing particular characters you want or need. Over on the right, we have your results box where you can see the results of your filters. And you have a couple of sorting options up here at the top. This one is as is, which is the original list of keywords exactly in the sequence they were put in. You can also sort it alphabetically or you can sort it by keyword length if you want to go after long tail keywords. And you can also do it by frequency, how frequently the word appears in your list. Once you've done filtering down the list, you have a few options. You can download them as a CSV file if you wanted to have them in a downloaded format. You also have options here on how you'd like the downloaded phrases to appear, either separated by line or by comma or spaces. This last button here is Proceed to Wordsmith, which allows you to move the list of filtered keywords to the next tool which is all geared towards getting these keywords worked into your listing so your products are optimized with all the important keywords you need to get found on Amazon faster. When moving keywords from distiller to wordsmith, you select the product you want to work on from your list of SKUs, and once you've synced that up and our system imports the product details, you can start working the keywords into your listing immediately. Okay, so that's the basic walkthrough of our distiller tool. A pretty simple but powerful tool to narrow down a list of keywords to just the ones you'd want in your Amazon listing.